so many students fail chemistry not because they do not read not because they are not intelligent but because they are not familiar with work marking guide so in this video i'm going to be teaching us how to draw test observation and inference or some sample of sorts without even carry out the real practical and this will be according to work marking guide and also in this video by the end of this video i'm going to be dropping some white remedy on error committed by students during sort analysis so make sure you stay tuned and watch this video till the end i will blow your mind We are going to carry out test, observation, and inference on the sort display on the screen there. And the sort, we have two aeons. In that sort, there are two aeons present in that sort. We have ammonium aeon and then we have SO42 minus aeon. In the description below, I'm, I'm going to drop how to confirm and test for ammonium aeon you can check in the description below all right now then look at this sort the sort i display on the screen there if you add water to that so naturally it's a soluble sort from the theory of practical we are not going to be using reagent in this part in this video because theory of practical is very very crucial in other in other videos i'm going to be draw i'm going to be showing us the real practical but for now we are not i'm not going to be showing us the real practical but the point is theory of practical is very very crucial because if the reagents are weak or if the reagents have expired if the reagents are also expired if the reagents are weak or the reagents have expired we are not going to get the accurate result and that is why it is very important that we know the theory of practical paraventure if you are testing with an expired reagent it will not give you a correct result so test observation inference according to the question we are we are asked to add water to sample c now from the theory of practical c is a soluble salt so when you add water what you expected to, have to write in your observation is that uh, C dissolves completely to give a colorless solution. If it is not this sort, if it is another sort that is a colored sort, you must give the color of the sort when dissolves in water. But this one will give a colorless solution when you add water, when you are doing the practical life. So C dissolves to give a colorless solution. You have, your, you have one mark for that. And... At your inference, C is a soluble salt. At your observation, C dissolves completely to give a colorless solution. And at your inference, C is a soluble salt. All right. Then the question asks us to divide the uh, solution C or the sample C into three portions. To the first portion, we are uh, the the question asks us to add sodium hydroxide then follow with it now note when whenever you are adding sodium hydroxide and then you are also eating it's an indication that uh, you are testing for a gas okay so at your observation you are expected to write evolution of a colorless gas with a token smell that is one mark. That is the physical properties of a gas which turns red litmus paper blue and also form a dense white film with concentrated hydrochloric acid. That is the chemical properties of a gas and that the gas I have been describing since is ammonia gas. It is ammonia gas that has a choking smell and also form a dense white film with hydrochloric acid that's the gas i have described in my observation and at my inference the inference would be ammonia gas from ammonium ion 
ammonia gas is one mark from ammonium ion that is we have we have confirmed ammonium ion now that's another one mark then the observe the observation the one physical properties of the gas one mark and then one chemical properties of the gas another one mark to the second portion add barium chloride whenever we are adding barium chloride is an indication that we are testing for either co32 minus so42 minus and uh, so32 minus so at the observation we are going to have white precipitate note don't write white ppt write it in full white precipitate that will fetch you one mark and in your observe in your inference we are going to have so32 minus so42 minus co32 minus then at our test now followed by after adding barium chloride followed by hydrochloric acid our observation the precipitate remains insoluble or you can say the precipitate on the soft all right you can pick any of the uh, the statement i made now all right so at your inference so42 minus is confirmed we confirm so42 minus by adding hydrochloric acid to the barium chloride and in the observation you are going to have white precipitate that remains on the soft but if the precipitate dissolves it's going to be either co3 or so uh, or so3 2 minus all right so we have confirmed the two ions present in the salt i mentioned earlier to the third portion hard potassium dichromate 6 that is k2 cr2 o7 and your observation because we have confirmed ammonia gas in the theory of practical ammonia gas is a reducing agent so automatically a reducing agent will change the orange color of a uh, potassium dichromate to green and that is why the orange color of potassium dichromate is changed to green that's the observation the orange color of k2cl2 o7 change to green and your inference will be solution c is a reducing agent at the end of the class i'm going to be dropping the remedy according to yek standard when st uh, the error and the remedy when students commit during sorts analysis.